we speak French and our parents don't. So we used to like, if we were mad about something or our parents were like annoying us, we just like talk about them in French. And they were like, what are you guys talking about? Not, nothing. <laughs> Summer League was over, I went home. Last time I really took time off was probably when I was in middle school. In high school, every summer was a grind. I'm playing Team Canada and I'm playing AAU, then I'm right back to school. When I had, I had a couple weeks off, I literally was like looking at my parents. I, I was like, what do I do? Like, I, I don't know what time off looks like. <laughs> there was a block party. You know, everybody in the neighborhood came through. Um, it was in my neighbor's backyard. He has a huge backyard. He has a basketball court and everything. So it was, it was great just to see everybody come out and um, show support for me, especially the people I've known since I was a young little kid. So it was, it was great to see that. I feel with Canada basketball, I'm in the weirdest situation. My left calf. You know, I played on it all throughout summer league. After that, we just decided, you know, shut it down. Me not playing is really, I want to get healthy. I play every year for Canada. I played every year since I was 14. Now I can't play and I'm mad because I just, I don't know, I feel like I want to be out there helping the team. That's why I came here to support as much as I can, even though I can't play. Just gonna get fully healthy and really get ready for the next season. Just signed my first, you know, shoe deal, signed my first contract with Puma. I had no idea who I was gonna sign with to begin with. Talked to a lot of people, got a lot of, a lot of good insight. And then, you know, as everything went along, Puma just made the most sense. Then I just picked, I just made my decision, so it was good. Money in the grave, I'm about to tear, I'm about to tear up to that. Oh yeah, that's, that's the song I'm waiting for. Well, I know Chris is showing, I know Tribes is showing, I think Future is supposed to show. Mm -hmm. um, Bacchus are going when we get there. Okay. But every year, I mean, yeah, every year. So one of my favorite parts of my time at home was obviously I got to go to OBO Fest. You know, I went with some cool people. I was able to go with Stanley Johnson and some other people, and we had a really great time. I mean, Drake brought a, everybody. He brought a, all his features, so it was just a fun time. My little brother, Nate. He's trying to grow up too fast. He thinks he can do things that, you know, 15 year olds can't do. So we gotta humble him out. I'm you a know. grown man. You're not grown, it's okay. We speak French and our parents don't. So we used to like, if we were mad about something or our parents were like annoying us, we just like talk about them in French. And they were like, what are you guys talking about? Nah, nothing. <laughs> It was great to just be with my friends. So having those guys basically when I was nothing and then we just kind of grew up together and all they're doing something with our lives is, is a great feeling. I, I trust those guys in my life. My couple weeks at home are over now. Now I'm sad because I don't want to leave home. But at the same time, I was also happy that I was finally you know, able to start on my journey. Next on, made different. My couple weeks at home are over now. I still have to find a place to live. And I didn't, I don't house shop. I've never done this before. Where the king's sweet at? <laughs> 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 